Hey! So this is a mini-series where I'll be just briefly discussing some powerful duos that can have some really great synergy. These synergies can produce high damage, cool strategies, and some pretty insane support capabilities. The duo that I'll be going into today are Linny and Dea. These two are quite the interesting pair as Linny has just been released in the game, and Dea is a unit that wasn't really and honestly still isn't favored upon her release. However, their synergy together actually proves to be really fruitful. Let's start off with Linny's kit first. His kit entails using his charge level 2 shots to dish out his main source of pyro damage. It also summons a taunt that helps distract opponents as he continues to perform his charge attacks. However, he can still experience a lot of interruption when more enemies are thrown into the mix, and doesn't have any resistance of his own. This is where Dea comes in. Her elemental skill can create a field that increases the active character's resistance to interruption. Paired with her A1 passive, she can grant a further increase of resistance to interruption to Linny. This makes it extremely comfortable for him to be able to pull off his charge attacks, while also probably getting hit head-on. Not only does Dea help out with interruption increase, she can also help Linny in DPS as well. Linny's best set is going to be the March House Say Hunter, which can give crit rate to him whenever he loses or gains HP with a max of 3 stacks. This works perfectly for him as his HP drains every time he fires a prop arrow from his charge level 2, that is equal to 20% of his max HP. And if the HP drain goes through, then he will also generate one prop surplus stack for himself. This HP drain can only bring him down to 60% and no further, which means that his health draining 2 times doesn't sync up with the 3 stacks of March House St. Hunter. Linny can have a max of 5 prop surplus stacks, but he can only really get 2 out of 5 on his own. Additionally, his skill will only deal more damage and heal him more when he has more stacks, and they also end up clearing upon activation. So he'll just end up being back at square 1 with building stacks, never being able to reach them at max. This ends up being a DPS loss when he doesn't have them at max. And again, this is where Dea comes in. The field also mitigates damage by redirecting some of the damage from the active character that takes to her. The field also mitigates damage by redirecting some of the damage the active character takes, aka Linny, to her. So when Linny uses his charge level 2 and loses health from it, part of it can be redirected to Dea, and he can get the last few stacks of prop surplus. The only issue that it does present itself is keeping Dea's field up consistently, which I honestly would resolve with the high refinement sacrifice of the Breaksword. And as for the last part, Dea is able to help with Linny's passive. Linny's passive is essentially a prioritizing of a mono pyro playstyle, which Dea can obviously work with since she's a pyro character. But it's even more valuable since she provides so much defensive utility while also allowing for Linny's unique playstyle to actually go through properly. She's able to condense all of her utility into one unit while also essentially being one third of what makes Linny deal more damage. So yeah, it's honestly nice to see Dea have more and more utility. Without Fontaine seems like a region where more and more characters will need to sacrifice and gain HP to deal more damage, Dea might actually become more and more of an option as a support. If you like the video and you want to see more, you already know a button to press if you want to see this on a regular basis. And if you have something to say, I can only hope that it's nice. Thank you, bye!